Hi everyone. Today I have something that's gonna make you feel great. It's a fantastic 20 minute morning yoga flow, specially designed to wake up every cell in your body with more energy, more inspiration, and more joy so that you can be extraordinary today. And I have a little special treat in Shavasana. I'm gonna give you some live music. So for this practice, if you want, you can use a block and maybe a pillow or a folded blanket will help you uh, deepen into some of the poses, but it's not required. Just, you know, makes things a little sweeter if you want. All right, let's make our way to a seat at the top of your mat. Go ahead and turn off any electronic devices, anything that can beep or buzz like alarms. So clear a little tranquil space for your practice. And then closing your eyes, relax into your breath. So let the shoulders melt away from the ears. Breathe in through the nose and out through your nose. Bring a gentle awareness to the crown of your head. And relax from the crown across the scalp to your forehead and to your brow, relaxing and softening tension wherever you find it. Relax your eyes and your cheeks, and then down into the jaw. Notice if you're clenching your teeth, just let go and soften up. Relax your tongue from the tip all the way down to the root. And feel that melting of tension come down into the chin, the neck, and the throat. Relax into the shoulders. Let the shoulders continue to melt away from the ears and at the same time, sit tall. So feel the weight of your body grounding into your sit bones and then lift up through your heart, lift up through the crown of the head, letting gravity pull the shoulders down. Let go of any sense of urgency or rushing to start your day or get to the next thing. Just allow yourself to be fully present right here. and keeping your eyes closed. Bring the hands to the knees and dip your chin to your chest and roll the right ear to the right shoulder and then left ear to left shoulder. And just go back and forth like this a couple times, letting the weight of the head pull the neck open. Feel that nice, beautiful stretch opening up the shoulder. If it feels good, you can let your head roll all the way around in a couple big circles. Listen to your body. And as you inhale, sit up tall, blink your eyes open. Let's take a little twist here. Left hand behind you, right hand to the left knee. Press into that left hand to grow tall through the heart and spine. And then deepen into the twist on your exhale. Exhale, unwind. We'll take it to the other side. Right hand plants. Big breath in, lift tall, and then deepen. No need to force or push very hard here in the twist. Just relax into it. Nice. Inhale. Turn around, face front. Extend both legs long, and we'll open up the hips and the hammies a little bit here with some Janyu Shashasana. So extend the right leg long. Bring the sole of the left foot inside that right thigh. Root the sit bones. Reach up tall with a great big breath. And as you exhale, nice and easy, we fold forward here. So... Just allowing yourself to find sensation, breathe, relax into it, but don't push and force beyond what feels reasonable. As you exhale, a little gentle internal rotation of that right leg in the hip socket so the right sit bone spreads open on the mat and the right knee gently, ever so slightly turns inward. Inhale, rise, bring the left hand to the mat and then lift your hips, arc up across the sky with the right fingertips, press into the right 
toes and reach through the right fingertips. Big breath, exhale. Let's do the other side. Left leg grows long, great big breath. Sweep the hands up and as we exhale, let's fold together, opening. I love John Yushashasana because you're, you're getting so much here. You're opening up the hamstring on the extended leg and the hip and the low back on the bent leg side. It just feels good. Inhale, slowly rise, right hand to the mat. Lift the left fingertips, stargazer pose with a great big breath. Lift the heart, reach through the fingertips. Exhale, slowly lower. Nice, sweep the legs around behind you. And let's find tabletop and from there right into downward dog. So curl the toes, lift the hips and push back. Pedal your feet, couple breaths here. So freestyle it here, just let yourself Go, move joyfully, follow your curiosity, dip the hips and heels from right to left, wave some cat cows in the upper back, whatever feels good for you. And then slowly coming to stillness. As you inhale, wave forward into plank pose. Lower your butt so your spine is nice and long. Wrap the elbows in, bringing more weight to the index finger and thumb, and feel the crown of your head reaching forward and the heels drawing back. Draw the navel in, strong in the core, and let's come down to the forearms and elbows for forearm plank. If this is all we did in this practice, it would be awesome, because forearm plank is so good for you. All of the muscles that support spinal health, support immune health, and help us to energize and strengthen, they're online right now. Press into the elbows, breathe deep. As you inhale, keep the core nice and strong. Press up to plank pose and take the feet a little wider than the hips here. Dip the hips and heels to the right, bringing more weight to the right hand. Sweep the left hand up to the sky and then lift from the bottom hip all the way through the left fingertips. As you exhale, dip the bottom hip, reach back. Inhale, lift the bottom hip and this time reach all the way up and over, back to plank and then we dip it to the other side. Inhale, lift from the bottom hip through the fingertips. Exhale, dip the bottom hip, reach back. Inhale, lift and sweep it all the way up and over. Nice, back to plank pose, and this time we lower all the way to the belly, slowly into cobra. Untuck the toes, slide the hands back, press into the heels of the palms, push the heart forward, wrap the elbows in, feel that in the upper back. Exhale, lower, and hips to heels. Child's pose. From child's pose, we come forward, tabletop, curl the toes, lift the hips, downward, doggy. <laughs> Feet together, take the right heel to the sky. Bend the knee and stack the hips wide open here. And then slowly, with control, that right knee comes all the way forward to touch the very top of the right tricep. Hold it there, wrap the elbows in, and then step the right foot outside that right hand for lizard pose. Now lizard, lots of options here. You can keep the back knee lifted or you can bring it down. I'm gonna bring it down today. You can come to the elbows, perhaps on a block here. Or of course, if it feels good, you can bring the elbows all the way down. So choose the variation that works for you here. And then once you find your shape, just settle in, relax, and breathe. So this is such a good stretch, folks. Especially in the morning, we're opening up the psoas here, that's the one of the deepest muscles in the body. It's a hip flexor muscle. And it's also attached to the diaphragm, so it helps us to breathe more deeply. And then on the right side here, you probably feel it in the IT band and in the hamstring, the right hip. All right, inhale. Press into the hands and lower the back knee, if not already there, and then turn over that right shoulder and grab the top of the left foot and draw the heel in toward the glutes. Now, if you can't grab the foot here, no problem. Just grab a strap or a dish towel and loop it around the foot to draw it in. Couple of breaths here. So now we're really deepening into the psoas muscle, the hip flexor on the left side. Exhale, release the back foot. Both hands come down inside the front foot, lift the back knee, and then step that left foot outside the left hand. 
Sit down nice and deep so that the thighs are parallel to the mat here. And then lift the heart this time, globe the fingertips. We're gonna do some squat walks. So a little bounce in the step, walking back slowly. Weight in the four corners of the feet. Stick the butt out behind you and walk it all the way back. Stay nice and deep so those thighs are parallel to the mat. All right, we made it to the back of the mat. Here we go forward. Working the glutes, feel it? Breathe through it, working it out. All the way to the top of the mat as you inhale, step tall, hands to the heart. Big toe mounts come to touch, slow it down. Nice, inhale, reach tall, big breath. Exhale, swan dive, empty and release. Halfway lift, step back, plank pose, a nice long and strong plank. Again, lower the butt so that the spine is long, wrap the elbows in, more weight to the index finger and thumbs, draw the navel in and feel the upper back broaden here and then come down to the forearms and the elbows for forearm plank. Wrap the elbows in continually and press through the elbows here as you draw the navel in, strengthening the core. <laughs> this is good stuff, y'all. Breathe, big, full, deep breaths. As you inhale, keep that strong core engagement and press up to plank pose. This time we're gonna take the feet wide again and then dip the hips and heels to the left. Lift from the bottom hip through the top fingers, dip the bottom hip, reach back. Inhale, lift the bottom hip, sweep all the way up and over, dipping it to the other side. Move with the breath, inhale, lift, exhale, reach back, inhale, Lift all the way up and over, back to plank pose, and this time your choice, lower halfway or all the way, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, lift the hips and push back, downward dog. Walk your hands slowly back to the feet. Bring the heels together here and then take the toes wide. Lift the heels and let's come down to a squat. <laughs> lift the heart, lift the crown of the head. So we're gonna work into some kundalini frog squats. And kundalini frog squats are great for energizing, waking up the energy. If you ever feel lethargic, a little low frog squats, 25, you'll be in a whole different place. And that's what we're gonna do here, 25. So just watch and then we'll do them together. As you inhale, you straighten the legs and push the heart back toward the thighs. The heels still stay lifted a little bit here. You're on the balls of the feet. And as you exhale, you come to a squat, lifting the heart and the crown of the head. The pace is pretty quick here, so it looks like this. All right, you got it? To start, great big breath in, 25. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, relax into it, seven, eight, nine, ten, great big breaths, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, stay with me, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, almost there, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. 23, 24, and 25. Oh yeah, let's come to child's pose for a few breaths here. Big toes touch, knees wide. Let the forehead come down. Rest, slow the breath. Let's hug into the earth here, feel solid ground beneath your fingers and your toes. Hmm. Inhale, come forward. Tabletop, curl the toes, downward dog. Nice work, y'all. Feet together, take that left heel to the sky. Bend the knee and stack the hips wide. Left knee to the very top of the left tricep. Pause and hold, wrap the elbows in, and then step to the outside of that left hand. Back knee up or down. Knees, or back knee can come down. Hands or elbows, whichever you choose. I'm gonna come down to my elbows here on the block because that's what feels sweet to me. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then relax into it. Once you find the shape, breathe, notice where you feel sensation, and just send your breath to those places to create space, opening. <sighs> 
Perhaps you already feel the breath and the container of your breath with the diaphragm opening here, getting deeper. This is good, good for you. Inhale, press up to the hands. Lower the back knee if not already there. Bend into that right knee. Grab the top of the right foot. Draw the heel in and then twist it open here. Deepening into the psoas. Love this stretch. Feels good. Setting you up for a dynamic day. Exhale, release the back foot. Both hands come down inside the front foot. Lift the back knee, and then step that right foot to the outside of the right hand. Sit down nice and deep, thighs parallel to the mat, butt sticking out behind you. Globe the fingertips. Squat walks, here we go. Little bouncy in your step, all the way back. <clears throat> Have fun with this. Feel the butt bouncing up and down. <laughs> Breathe deep. All right, let's hang out on the back of the mat, and then we'll take it forward. One step at a time. One step at a time. Don't get ahead of yourself. All the way to the top of the mat. As we inhale, palms come to the heart. Step to the center of the mat. Relax the shoulders. Breathe. Center. Balance. Inhale. Sweep the hands high. And exhale. Fold. One more vinyasa. Back to downward dog. Step to plank. Lower halfway or all the way. Knees up or down. And then as you come up, the heart opens here as the shoulders draw back. Exhale, lift the hips, push back, downward dog. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> come to your knees. And let's find child's pose. So good to be with you this morning. So good to share this practice and share in the inspiration. Sit back to your heels, sweep the legs around in front. One more fold here, a little Paschimottanasana, so feet together, flex your feet, lift up tall through the heart, root the sit bones down, and as you exhale, fold forward until you feel a little bit of sensation in the hamstrings and then stay there, breathe. And then a gentle inward rotation of the thighs and the hip socket, so the, the sit bones spread, the knees ever so slightly turn in, and then continue to fold, finding your fullest expression wherever that may be. It's not how deep you fold or how it looks. It's not an Instagram pose. <laughs> it's how it feels in your body, right? As you inhale, slowly rise, making your way all the way to your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little rock side to side here. Breathe deep. Feet up in the air. Happy baby. Press the heels high. Draw the knees and the shoulders down and feel the whole spine from your neck to the hips and the sacrum grounding into the earth. Great big breath in. Exhale and melt yourself into a great big puddle of Shavasana. Keep your eyes closed and rest, and I'm going to grab my guitar and sing you a little song. Poor Namada. Purnamida, Purnats, Purnamudachite, Purnamada, Purnamida, Purnats, Purnamudachite. Purnasya Purnamadaya 
Purna sya purna madaya Purna sya purna madaya Purnam Ada Purnamidam Purnat Purnam Udachite When you come from a place of wholeness, the essence of who you are is beautiful, it's whole. And so this practice is not a self-improvement project. Rather, it's a clearing away of all of the confusion and the clutter. And it's a coming back home to what is already true, that right now, you're beautiful. You're powerful, you're whole and complete. Begin to bring some movement to your fingers, your toes, your wrists and ankles. And as you inhale, stretch your hands overhead. Great big breath. And exhale, draw knees into your chest, roll to your right side and press yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat. Close your eyes, bring your palms to the heart, raise your thumb knuckles to the point between your brow. We bow to one another, namaste. Hmm. If you'd like to keep this session going, which I think you should, there is a great follow-on video. It's a 20-minute yin practice. It'll help you continue this cool down and just melt into a great big puddle of love. Go ahead and click on that video next to me.